27th, August 2019 was a dark day for race car and speed enthusiasts as they went from holding their collective breaths awaiting confirmation that Jesse Combs had broken a 40-year record to having their hearts break into pieces when the phenomenal woman was carried away from the wreckage on a stretcher. Here are the details of the tragic accident that robbed the racing world of one of its brightest stars. Jessica Combs was born in July 1980 and became known for breaking records as a professional car racer, hosting and featuring in several television shows, and restoring vintage cars. Jessie grew up dreaming of becoming a race car driver. She loved machines and motorsports and hoped that when she grew up, she would get the opportunity to enjoy the thrill of racing in a machine she'd worked on. She nurtured her passion by learning everything she could about professional racing using every opportunity she got to study machines and cars, and planning her education to align with her goals. Jessie had two role models from whom she drew motivation and reassurance that she would realize her dreams. Her first role model was her great-grandmother, Nina Debo, who raced steam cars long before women were respected and valued in motorsports. Jessie's second role model was Kitty O'Neill, the woman who set the 1976 speed record that Jessie aimed to beat. With the assurance that women who came before her had succeeded in the field and the determination to carve a spot for herself in racing, Jessie took the first step toward the future she dreamed of when she joined Wayotech. At the Technical College, she enrolled in courses that equipped her with fabrication and vehicle restoration skills, such as the Collision and Refinishing Core, Street Rod Fabrication and Custom Fabrication, and High Performance Powertrain Programs. Immediately after graduation, Jessie got her first opportunity to practice the skills she'd acquired at Wyotech when the institution hired her to build a car and show it at a specialty equipment show. Six months later, she was at the show proudly displaying her work. Before the thrill of building her first car wore off, Jessie went to work restoring vintage cars, boosting their power, training in different types of driving, and collaborating with fellow enthusiasts and sponsors to enter racing events. Jessie was slowly becoming a household name in motorsports, known for her ability to drive anything from monster trucks to rally cars and hot rods. Jessie's growing skills and reputation attracted TV executives and producers, and it wasn't long before she made her television debut. She started out as a performance driver for films and commercials, but transitioned into hosting and being featured in shows. Her first major appearance on television was in Over Holland. Jessie was a guest fabricator before she was approached to co-host Extreme 4X4 on Spike TV. Jessie felt right at home in the show, since her role involved playing out her childhood dream of building cars, subsequently appearing in over 90 episodes, which aired in the four years from 2005 and 2009, before an accident that threatened her future in motorsports prompted her to leave the show. She was working in the studio alongside her co-host, when a piece of the machine she was using fell on her, fracturing part of her spine. She was lucky to eventually recover her mobility. After the accident, Jessie moved on, but didn't leave television. She hosted a series of other shows including Two Guys Garage, Full Throttle TV, and Bush 2015, while one of her most memorable stints on television was her roles in Mythbusters and All Girls Garage. Television allowed her the visibility and reach she needed to advance her call for the representation of women in racing and skilled automotive trades, a cause she was passionate about. Her partner in advocacy, Teresa Contreras, has continued Jessie's passion for empowering women to make space for themselves in the trades alive through the nonprofit they co founded, The Real Deal Revolution. Before her untimely death, Jessie was filming a documentary, hoping it would be released after she broke the record to show her journey to holding the Guinness World Record for the fastest four wheel driven land speed. Unknown to her, she would break the record but lose her life in the process. In the documentary released in 2022, Jessie discusses the hurdles she spent her entire career fighting to overcome for being a woman in a male-dominated industry. In a raw, candid conversation with the filmmaker, Jessie revealed that she was often treated differently to the men she worked with, competed with, and often surpassed in both fabrication and racing. She reported being constantly required to prove herself, her skills, and her knowledge by people who doubted her qualifications. Despite having proven herself severally, 
Jesse was particularly saddened and frustrated by people who insisted that as a woman, she could have earned her place in the motorsports industry long after she earned the nickname Queen of the Hammers for finishing second in the King of Hammers, the most grueling and difficult desert race in the world. Jessie's frustration at having to prove herself led her to track down her role model, Kitty O'Neill, who had suffered a similar fate before her retirement. Like Jessie, Kitty was one of a few women in the industry in her time and had set the record for the fastest drive across the Alvord Desert in a rocket-powered car in 1976. She had hoped to push her limits further and break more speed records, but faced resistance. Sexism played a huge role in her failure to attempt to set other speed records. One instance in particular had Jessie angry at her hero's lost opportunity. O'Neill was set to attempt a new record, but her sponsor barred her attempts to allow a man to set the record instead. Jessie vowed to set a new record in honor of her role model and sought O'Neill's blessing. In the course of her career, Jessie enjoyed several successes and set a few records. In 2011, she finished second in the Beja 1000, then two years later, set a new land speed record when she became the first woman in history to average 398 miles per hour and hit a top speed of 440 miles per hour on four wheels. The following year, she finished first in the Ultra 4 King of the Hammers Special Class and in the same year, achieved the fastest speed in the event's Legend Class. Her winning spree continued over the years until 2018, when she hit a new high speed of 483.227 miles per hour at the NAE Land Speed Race. Jesse concentrated on getting progressively better, in readiness for the ultimate challenge, setting a new land speed record on Alvord Desert. With O'Neill's blessings and a determination to set a new world record, Jesse was unstoppable. According to her partner, Terry Madden, on the morning of the accident, Jessie woke up ready to make history. She confided in Terry that this would be her last. An excited Jessie went through the safety checkups, geared up, and boarded the North American Eagle ready to take off and drive her way into world history and the Guinness World Records. Within minutes, Jessie was cruising across the desert, the whole time keeping in communication with her team watching. Everything appeared to be going well for Jesse until the car disappeared in a cloud of dust. The crew read out the mile markers into their linked communication channels and instructed Jesse to kill the engine. When she didn't respond, the crew panicked and made more frantic calls until a terse one-word response. Copy was heard from her linked microphone before she stopped responding. That was the last word Jesse spoke. In seconds, rescuers were rushing from the starting line to her car hoping to find the world record holder alive. By the time they got to her car, it was on fire, and Jessie had taken her last breath. In the aftermath of the accident, the racing world followed keenly the investigation into the cause of the crash. It emerged that the front wheels disintegrated after Jessie struck an object along the course. Further reports showed that she was driving at a speed of close to 550 miles per hour when the front wheel assembly collapsed. The speed and impact threw her head against a blunt object in the car, killing her on the spot. Jesse was dead before the car caught fire. The accident was caused by a mechanical issue, and Jesse had followed every safety precaution, made sound decisions, and adhered to all emergency procedures. Sadly, Jesse achieved her lifelong goal and broke O'Neill's record, but didn't live to revel in her achievement. Jessie is the current world record holder for the fastest land speed, being awarded the record and honor posthumously. Her achievement has been immortalized in the Guinness Book of World Records and on film following the release of a documentary on her journey. The document is appropriately entitled The Fastest Woman on Earth and shows the determination, courage, and passion that led Jessie to achieve her dreams. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.